Should I blur my background? No, that's fine. You're fine. All right, welcome to another edition of the Alumni Zoom Room with Bristol Bayhawks Athletics. I'm Derek Viveris, Director of Athletics and Recreation at Bristol Community College. And we're hosting a series of discussions highlighting former Bristol Community College student athletes. Before I introduce today's guests, I want to let you know uh, that these recordings and uh, recordings of all of our student athlete planning series are available on our bristolccbayhawks.com athletics website. Today's guest was a two-year member of our women's basketball program in 2013-14, 14-15. Uh, we have Brianna Pelton. Brianna, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Uh, Brianna, just um, if you could, just give us a little background on yourself, uh, who you are, where you're from. So I am from Acushnet, Mass, originally. Um, I currently live in New Hampshire. I um, have played basketball since instructional, um, since I could. Um, and yeah, and then, like you said, I went to Bristol right out of high school for, for those two year, first two years. I went to Fairhaven High School, and I also played basketball there. Great. So you, so you played basketball at Fairhaven. What, what, um, you know, what drew you to Bristol? So I wanted to stay local, um, save some money, but also work at the same time. Um, so I just felt that Bristol was the best option for me. Um, I also thought the campus was like a very beautiful campus for, you know, community college. And, you know, I have a sister who's 15 years apart from me. So I wanted to stay with her as she got older for a few years. Um, so that's why I kind of went path to Bristol. Excellent. What was your major? My major was human services um, at Bristol Community College. And, and um, what, are you, what are you doing now? So I am currently a social worker for Department of Children and Families. Um, and right before this, I was a case manager um, for a nonprofit organization for adults who had developmental disabilities. So I've Ever since I've left Bristol and even Fitchburg State, I've been doing human services since moving forward. Great. Well, how, how long have you been in that position? So I've only been in this position since May. Um, I'm fairly new. So been here since only May. Excellent. Working so, from so home. You, yeah. <laughs> and I, I want to ask you about that in a second. Um, what, what, so you, you came in as a, as a human services major and you said you, you uh, were a human services major throughout your, your undergrad. Um, what, was, was that the career path you wanted to take? You knew, you knew that's what you wanted to do uh, right away? Yeah, after, right out of high school, I was in um, a group in high school at Fairhaven High where I uh, worked with, you know, students who, you know, socially struggled a little bit and stuff. So helping them and being around them, I just, the passion to help people. I've always wanted to do it um, right out of high school. I knew that's exactly what I wanted to do. Um, I did it, like I said, I started at Bristol and I just continued it. And I still, like I said, I'm in the field now. I don't see myself really doing anything else at this point. Um, so yeah, I've always, always wanted to help people and be in that role. That's great. Um, so you, you brought up the pandemic. Um, obviously, I, uh, most industries have had to make adjustments over the last several months. Um, how, how have you uh, handled some of these adjustments uh, throughout the, the pandemic? So I um, haven't stopped working at all since the pandemic, because when you're in human services, you're usually a mandate reporter. You still have to be out and about. So I've always kind of been still doing work a little different, um, you know, working from home. That was a huge adjustment for me. Um, I like to get up, go out, you know, and not be stuck in the house. Um, but, you know, I, we have to just continue to push through it the best we can, you know, have a, try to have the best positive attitude we can while being safe out in the community. You know, I'm out and about a lot more now doing home visits. Um, so it's important for me to remember to always have my mask on, you know, be safe, but I do have you know, especially as my role as a social worker, I have a lot of families I need to go see and make sure that everyone is also safe. So it, it was an adjustment, but for me and my role as a human services, you know, professional, it didn't really stop at all. Great. And it so sounds like you have the right attitude to, you know, to get through the, get through this uh, and, and help others through it. So that's, that's excellent. Definitely. I, 
like to, uh, I just want to shift gears just a little bit here. And because uh, you, you had a, you had a very good uh, two years on the basketball court as far as at Bristol. Could you tell us a little bit about your uh, basketball experience with us? Yeah. So, um, you know, when I went to Bristol, obviously the first thing I wanted to do was play basketball. I didn't want to take any years off going from high school to college. Um, so the first both years, I should say, um, we had a very low roster. Um, as you know, we had seven, eight players, maybe the most sometimes. So it was an experience, but it was an experience that I am so happy I was a part of because, you know, mentally, physically, you have to just push through every game, every practice. Um, and, you know, you develop such close relationships with your teammates, you know, our coach, um, she would have like team gatherings constantly. So we always built that relationship, but, you know, you don't see many teams that just have a roster of seven or eight both years. So, but like I said, I wouldn't have changed it. It was just, it was an experience that I would, I've said it actually a few years ago, I, I would go back and play at Bristol um, in a heartbeat. I, I enjoyed it so much. <clears throat> And, and so uh, I believe it was 13, 14. So you, th that women's basketball uh, team was the first women's team to make a postseason at Bristol. What was, you know, what was so uh, special about that team to uh, advance to a postseason? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think that, you know, we just had to have, you know, our coach pushed us conditioning wise at every practice, you know, we were in shape and we pushed through, we had that mentality, you know, we had, Ashley on the team, who was a great, great point guard and great guard for the team. You know, she, she was very knowledgeable and it was definitely, I think that kind of carried over the next season too. You know, we did, we got there that first season, like let's keep pushing, you know, um, work hard even off season so we can get there again. But it was definitely a longer season and we all just pushed through and we really enjoyed it. It was, it was great. It was awesome. Yeah, it was fun. I know it was, it was fun to watch. Yeah. Um, so, so you had some success on the basketball court, and obviously academically, uh, and it gave you some opportunities after Bristol. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So I um, stayed at Bristol only for two years um, because I knew I wouldn't be done in the two years, and I didn't want to take another year off of basketball. So I transferred to Fitchburg State, um, and I played two years there as well. Um, I played a lot my first year. Um, I was a starter. I played almost every game. And we had a really rough season. Um, we were a whole new team, like everyone was new, never played together, but it was still fun. You know, it's very different at a university. You have, you know, weight rooms and you're doing constant before season, after season workouts. Um, and then I played again, obviously my senior year. And, you know, academically, same thing. I did really, really well. Academically, I continued my major in human services um, and I graduated with my bachelor's in human services and a minor in psychology. Awesome. And can, can, you, can you kind of tell us if there was anything uh, in particular at Bristol or uh, the whole experience? How, how did it really prepare you for those next steps uh, at Fitchburg, um, athletically, academically, and, and even into your career? So definitely, I would say like the time management and, you know, balancing everything out. It's, I've always said that you can't be an athlete, you know, if you're not a student first. Um, so maintaining that time management, you know, I played basketball. I also worked part time and did schooling when I was at Bristol. So when I transferred and even just throughout life, it just helped me with that time management, that balance, you know. How do you balance things, not get overwhelmed, not get stressed out and make everything work? And it just, it's helped me be disciplined, responsible. And like I said, I even say it now, like basketball and academics together has helped me in my life in general and being able to handle a lot of things at once. And like I said, just the time management. So, you know, Bristol was obviously my first college experience and even just being a community college, it felt like I was at a university, you know, it, it was the same as kind of going to Fitchburg. We did a lot more at Bristol too. We were home later, you know, we had really far games. So it was definitely, definitely a huge help for me. Right, and I, I like that. You, you can't be an athlete unless you're a student first. I, I like that saying, uh, we're gonna use that. <laughs> um, and, and this leads me to my, my uh, last question is, uh, and you may have just answered it, but uh, what advice would you give to current and future uh, Bristol student athletes? 
So definitely kind of what I was saying, you know, it, there's going to be times where, you know, you get home late from a game or, you know, you've got practice and school and classes. I know we had a lot of our athletes who had classes that ran into practice and stuff. So I would just say to focus on, you know, that balance, the time management, you know, making sure you set aside a time to get your homework done and, you know, focus on that first and then go to practice, practice and finish whatever, whatever you have to do. I mean, it's definitely a little harder because you're commuting depending on how far to Bristol. So you might be traveling a little more than, you know, others would. So definitely utilizing the library. It's a great library, you know, to get your work done, the time you have between classes or anything, definitely the time management and making sure that, you know, you maintain your grades and you continue good grades. That way you're a good, you know, you're a student athlete at that point, you know, you're able to continue to play. You're not letting your team down because you can play the rest of the season because you're maintaining those good grades. So definitely my advice. Yeah, great, great advice, Brianna. Um, so uh, there you have it, Brianna Pelton, two-year member of women's basketball. Uh, you know, adjusting uh, through the pandemic uh, in, in the uh, healthcare industry. And I uh, just want to say congratulations on the success that you've had. And uh, I'm sure that you have more in store for the future. So uh, thank you so much for joining us, Brianna. Thank you so much.